الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام رسول الکریم اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر بردرس اینڈ سسٹرس ان اسلام اینڈ ان ہیومینٹی السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ میں پیس مرسی اینڈ بلیسنگ آف اللہ بی اپون یو ٹوڈے مائی ٹاپک از واٹ ڈز اسلام اینڈ مسلم مین ان لائک موسٹ ادر ریلیجنس وچ ویئر نیمڈ آفٹر دیئر فاؤنڈر اور دا کمیونٹی فالوئنگ اٹ اسلام از ناٹ ایسوسیٹیڈ ود اے پرسن پیپل اور کنٹری بٹ نیمڈ ان اکارڈنس ود واٹ اٹ اسٹینڈ فار سمیشن ٹو دا کریٹر آ ریلیٹیڈ ورڈ آف دا عربک ورڈ اسلام میننگ سمیشن از سلام میننگ پیس اے مسلم اے فالوور آف اسلام از اے پرسن ہو اسٹرائیو ٹو اٹین پیس with a themselves and their surroundings by submitting to the guidance provided to them by their creator through revelation this guidance includes certain truths a muslim believes in and certain actions they follow by being defined in this manner islam is open to all irrespective of place cost race nation etc according to the quran 5 verse 3 it is the way of life chosen by god for mankind today i have completed your religion for you and perfected my favor upon you and am content with islam submission as a religion for you al quran 5 verse 3 What is the purpose of life according to Islam? According to the Quran, Allah is the one who created death and life to test you as to who does the best deeds and he is the mighty and forgiving. Al-Quran 67 verse 2. And I Allah did not create jinn and mankind except to serve me al-quran 51 verse 56 hence the purpose of life on earth is twofold a temporary time and space to test our conduct and whether we serve allah alone for our earthly existence allah gave us everything we need and more and we owe him our gratitude which we express through prayer and by acting in accordance with his guidance since we cannot repay him for his favors we are expected to share and pass these on to those who are less fortunate than ourselves according to the prophet muhammad peace be upon him the best muslim is he who is most beneficial to those around him who do muslims worship and why central to islam is the belief in one unique and supreme divine being as the creator of all life known to us allah and therefore being the only one worthy of worship he has no equal nor any partner in divinity to worship him is the ultimate purpose of all that has been created as he says in the quran and i allah did not create jinn and mankind except to serve me al quran 51 verse 5 6 and this is allah your lord there is no god but him the creator of everything So serve him and he is a protector of everything. Al-Quran 6 verse 102 Therefore, Islam rejects the worship of anything else as idolatry. Muslims worship Allah directly without intermediaries. And this is 
what they invite others to as the quran states say o people of the book christians and jews come to a common word between us and you that we serve known but allah and do not associate anything with him nor take each other as our lord instead of allah that if they turn away say be witnesses that we have submitted al quran 3 verse 64 this strict monotheism of islam is expressed in surah chapter 112 of the quran say he is allah alone allah the everlasting he does not reproduce nor has been reproduced and nobody is the match for him al quran 112 verse 1 to 4 muslims reaffirm this truth in their daily prayers by reciting the opening surah chapter of the quran allah is praised the lord of all worlds the owner and giver of mercy the king of the day of repayment we serve only you and ask only you for help guide us on the straight path the path of those you have favored not of those deserving anger nor of those who lose their way al quran 1 verse 1 to 7 wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh